Welcome to Gradient Flow Snapshot number 7. There's a lot of talk these days about fake news and its impact on American society. So, how real is the fake news problem? A recent Science Advances article shared research results about fake news based on a three-year U.S. dataset analyzing mobile, desktop, and television consumption. The data shows that all news content is only a small part of U.S. media consumption, comprising at most 14.2% of Americans' daily media diet. In the U.S., television accounts for roughly five times as much news consumption as online media. Overall, fake news comprises only 0.15% of Americans' daily media intake. So, what are the real factors influencing the U.S. public's misunderstanding of the news? See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 11 for more. Macropolo recently analyzed the background of researchers who presented at a top deep learning conference called NURIPS as a proxy for top-tier AI research talent. They found that nearly 60% of the top-tier AI researchers work for American universities and companies. Of those, 29% received undergrad degrees in China, and 50% of those Chinese researchers go on to study and work in the U.S. The implication is that restricting U.S. visas for Chinese students will have a significant negative impact on AI research in the U.S. See Gradient Flow Newsletter number 11 for more. Much of the physical universe is composed of dark matter, invisible to us but present. Similarly, the universe of information contains dark data that most of us are unaware of, which we should not ignore. Statistician David Hand has developed a taxonomy for dark data, explaining terms like self-selection, information asymmetry, and more. Hand's excellent book, Dark Data, Why What You Don't Know Matters, explores real-life examples of dark data and explains how it can be understood and used to our advantage. Every CXO should read this book. To learn more, visit gradientflow.com newsletter and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.